What's going on everybody? Gunner here. I'm at St. Croix Rods. Today is Customer Appreciation Day and I want to film just two quick things to add to this masterclass. Uh, and the first thing that I want to film has to do with water loading. So when you are streamer fishing, and this was something that happened in Mexico beyond belief, we probably caught half our fish within 10 feet of the boat, 15 feet of the boat. You'd make that long presentation, 50, 60 foot cast, retrieve it, half the fish ate within that half cast, that 30 foot to the boat cast. So you're retrieving that fly all the way to the boat, or if you're in a river, all the way to your feet. Do you understand? And what's really difficult about that is I got a big bushy fly in here. We're streamer fishing, and this is a bunch of wind resistance. And right now, I don't even have fly line out of my rod tip. I have a foot of fly line. I can't load a rod with a foot of fly line. So you're gonna use water loading. You're gonna flip that fly out there, and now I have water pressure against that fly. I got water tension on my leader. I got water tension on my line. And I'm going to make a back cast, pick it up, put it down. And I've, because I've increased all of those variables, I can put more energy, more load in the rod, which can slip more line, which can get out farther. And now I can do it one more time. So I've done two water load casts. And now I've slipped the full head out. And now I can make a full presentation, just like that. So instead of sitting here, let me show you what you're typically going to see. You're going to get a big old pike, musky fly. You're going to retrieve it all the way to your feet. You're going to go into a figure eight. And then you're going to try false casting that thing. Ah, oh, oh. That was a heck of a lot of casting. It was also a lot of energy. And that energy, you're going to be feeling that by the end of the day. You try throwing a big bushy fly and you try slipping line like that. After 30 minutes, you're going to be ready to be done. All right, got that fixed. But when you're, when you're doing this water load technique, you're storing energy, storing energy, slipping into your back cast, coming back down. Storing energy, storing energy, pop, slip into the back cast, forward stroke. And it's unbelievably efficient at getting the head out, loading that rod, transferring the energy. But it's really important that that pickup off the water is very, very smooth. And the way to do it smooth, you just have to accelerate. But that word doesn't always register with people. That means you start slow, you get faster, and you end fast. And I mean like start slow. Like check this out, watch how slow this is. Pop. And it's gone. So you gotta start slow, you gotta get everything up. You gotta get the tension on it, pop it back, and you're gonna do that in succession. And you can do it, one of the things Michael did a really good job of, is if you're on a boat, you can do it in both directions, right? So if you retrieve this to your feet, water load to your back cast, water load to your forward cast, water load to your back cast, and you can slip back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. But it's the water load that's gonna get your head out so that you can make your presentation cast to a fish. Being able to water load is how you efficiently slip your head out, minimize your false casting, increase your efficiency, and reduce fatigue. What's going on everybody? Gunner here. It is Father's Day weekend uh, and it's, I don't know, 5.50 in the morning. We're headed down to Park Falls, Wisconsin right now to hang out with St. Croix Rods for Customer Appreciation Day. Welcome to Park Falls, baby. Thank <laughs> you. 